impress your friends, learn mad skills, and fight crime today on Professional Photography Tips. What's up, brotographers and cystographers? Josh Cripps here, and today I'm going to learn yeah, a really cool way to make a nice, elegant touch to your watermark that will make it nearly invisible, but still uh, very, very difficult for any potential would-be thieves to crop it out or clone it out of your image. So here we go. We're in Photoshop. Let's say you got a nice, simple watermark like your name. Now, this can be anything. It can be your logo, picture of your cat, picture of your mom's best friend. I mean, whatever you're into. All right, the problem with doing something small like this is it's very easy to crop out or clone out. So what can we do? Let's start by making it a little bigger. Now this is gonna make it really, really obtruse, obtrusive and ugly and obvious. So now we're gonna get into something pretty cool. Um, if you go up here to your layer, layers palette, wherever your layer mask is, and you double click on that layer, it'll bring up this layer style menu. Now here what I'm gonna do is click on the bevel and emboss styling, which is going to add this bevel and emboss to my watermark. Now change it to outer bevel and then go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to use the sort of forgotten stepchild of Photoshop, which is this fill slider right here. Now what this does is it will make, it's kind of like opacity. Opacity makes a whole layer less and less visible. And what fill does is it makes the contents of the layer less visible, but what it, it, it maintains behind is the layer styling. So if I drop this fill down lower, no, you'll see that the text actually disappears, but the layer style sticks around behind and already starting to blend in a little more into the image. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my opacity down as well to bring it to a level that I like where it's not quite so eye-catching. I want it to be visible if you're looking for it, but not so obvious that you see it at first glance, maybe something like that. Now you could even take it down back again smaller. Now of course this is going to be easily croppable or clonable, so if you bring it up and you put it somewhere real difficult to clean up like this rock, now it's not super obvious, right? You could even drop the opacity a little more. However, if I look for it, I can still see it. I can still see my name here, which is gonna make, and the complexity of this area makes, makes it difficult for any would-be thieves to cl uh, clone out or crop out or content to wear fill your watermark. So that's all there is to it. Really, really simple technique to make your watermark nearly invisible and yet still difficult to get rid of. So if you guys uh, enjoy this video, you should subscribe to receive all kinds of helpful photography and Photoshop tutorials and tips whenever they're uploaded. You can also come check out any of these cool videos over here for lots more great techniques. Don't forget to visit my website, Joshua Cripps. Dot, oh, I wish I could write faster, dot com for landscape photography, workshops, tutorials, and heaps more. Until next time, you guys, have fun and happy shooting.